to forward the system logs from the pfSense firewall to an external syslog server. You will have to do the following configuration on your pfSense firewall. And the configuration would be inside your system log settings. Before starting, I'll show you the version of the pfSense firewall that I'm working with. It is 2.5.0. And my IP address on the WAN interface is 192.168.0.109, which is directly connected to my syslog server, which is at 192.168.0.110. And the services are running on port 514. So to configure the syslog forwarding, click on status, click on system logs, and then click on settings. Here, the first thing that you can do is you can select the format that you would like to have the logs in. So by default, I guess it is in BSD, but I prefer using syslog RFC 5424 with RFC 3339. Well, to understand this requirement, you can check your application, which is your syslog server application. And according to that application requirement, you can select the option here. Now, when you come down to the last section, you will see remote logging options. Click on enable remote logging, which will then send the log messages to an external syslog server. You can select the source address here, or you can keep it as default any and the firewall will decide which interface to choose. In my case, I know that it is going to be WAN interface. So I'm selecting the WAN interface. And it is going to be IPv4 address. And the IP address of my syslog server is 192.168.0.110 and the port is 514. The next option is the remote syslog contents, which I'm going to select as everything. If you want, you can select the one in question, like the VPN events or routing daemon events or firewall events. Well, save the settings. Now that the settings are saved, let's move on to our syslog server, which is running on our Windows server. And you can see here that the pfSense firewall is sending the logs to this particular syslog server. To confirm that, you can check the IP address here, when I to do one state zero one zero nine, which is configured on WAN interface. And to verify the same, you can click on show directory go to the syslog server. I'll open the file where the data write is happening. So you can see here all the data from my pfSense firewall written onto this particular file, which is our syslog.txt will vary based on the application that you are using. And you can do one more thing. You can go back to the settings and you can change the format as well to see the difference. Now you can see that the format is changing. And the same information you can see in your syslog 
file as we have selected any or everything which means we are sending all the events generated on the firewall to an external syslog server that's all in this video see you in the next video and please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button bye bye